All right, man, your boy, Debo Samuel, getting into it with Gardner Johnson. Let's check us a little clip right now on IG that Gardner Johnson posted. Another thing, bro, listen, don't be friendly when you see me. Cause you be so flashy. You better hope, bro. You better hope all that talking you be doing when we see y'all do it, whatever round it may be. Cause I can't guard you. You can't run routes. You're a running back. You're a running back. I ain't even gonna sit here and play with you, little boy. Just cause you got a little bag, people gave you a little clout, man. You ain't nothing, bro. Stop playing. All right, man. What do you think about this whole situation, man? They're going back and forth. It seems like Debo's going at it with everybody right now. So. How do you feel about Debo just, you know, talking that trash, man? I like it because this is going to give him a little bit chip on his shoulder, give him a little bit of edge. And this might be a team we might run into in the playoffs. So I'm going to like it because he's not going to have any uh, feelings that he's going to want to be buddy buddies. He's going to go out, want to be a killer. I know Johnson's actually not even playing because he's hurt. He's hurt yeah. But regardless, I'm pretty sure Debo Samuel stays take it personally when we play those Lions. Cause I think we might end up matching up with him in the playoffs. So... I'm waiting for it. I'd rather have these teams not like each other, so I'm liking it. What do you think, though, man? Yeah, man, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I like it, man, because we haven't won anything yet, man. It seems like Debo has been on this press tour. Remember last year after we lost the NFC Championship game, he was saying Bradbury's garbage. He might be right there, though. He might be right. But then he was out there talking trash um, uh, last week, or it was it with uh, Micah Parsons. And then now we got this. So personally, I would like him to freaking shut up because I don't want it to be used as bulletin board material, you know. So um, I know I know how it is now with these guys. These guys have like Twitter hands and stuff. So everybody seems to be doing it. Personally, I just don't like it. I remember during, what was it last week when they got in a fight with the Cleveland Browns before the mm -hmm. game? He got his shoulder and then supposedly it was the first play where he messed up his shoulder. It could be true, but who knows? He could have got messed up in the fight. So I just want him to control his emotions and not be too, I don't know, hyped up because I mean, we still haven't won it yet. And last year, he had that disappointing season. He wants to make it up. He said he wants to make it up. He's doing a good job. But still, um, I just would like him to be quiet and kind of be like Purdy or Bosa, let the play do the talking. But everyone's different, so. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, uh, maybe don't have to talk, to every, talk back to everyone. You don't have to listen to everything that's coming out of everyone's mouth. But I do like when he does uh like defend himself or defend teammates mm -hmm. because that shows that dog in him that he's willing to uh kind of go to that like point because you know he wants to win that just shows his competitive nature i love when these guys are like that because it's it, for me the most irritating thing is when people just let things go for no reason so i like this out of Debo. i know he doesn't have to deal with everyone but if somebody comes after him because i believe johnson was the one who started this right well he, yeah, he, made, yeah, he, he made the initial tweet so he was just defending himself. It's not like Debo went out there to kind of um, just go after this guy. Same thing with Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons was kind of going after Kittle, and then that's Debo's boy, so he kind of defended him. So I don't actually see Debo in the wrong right now. I think maybe Johnson probably took a shot at Debo was because Debo was talking trash to his boy Bradbury because yeah. he was with the Eagles last year. Um, but also another reason it gives me bad flashbacks, what happened last year where we were playing the Chiefs, everybody was talking that shit. Jimmy Ward, led by Jimmy Ward. And what happened, man? Jimmy Ward just got abused by Travis Kelsey. And after the game, what happened? Frank Clark, he's like, man, all these guys were talking all this shit. And we freaking had that as bulletin board material, and we backed it up. So that's why I don't know if I like it, man. So, I mean, all these other guys have to back up Debo, man, because Debo's been talking this trash, but everybody's got to back up, and he's got to back it up, too. Remember the two years in the NFC Championship game, that fourth quarter? No catches, nothing happened against the Rams. I know all of it was not his fault because obviously Jimmy Garoppolo is a quarterback and he misses open guys, so, but he's got to back it up. He's talking all this trash. He has to back it up. If he does it, he's a legend. If not, man, he's like another crab tree, I guess. So. All right, well, you guys listen in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you all next time. Peace. Peace.